Welcome to the first stop, Life on Tour 2008. What I'm hoping too is you're not seeing the theme of the year, which is lousy weather, actually cold, lousy weather. I've been driving in freezing rain and sleep for the last two hours. But that should all change in about eight or nine hours as we arrive in Orlando, Florida for what we all hope will be sunny, 80 degree weather. I'm gonna try to do it a little bit different this year. I've added video. We'll try to increase the pictures, give you more coverage out on the boat, on stage, show you some of the patterns, the conditions, maybe interview a few of the guys to kind of get a feel for what's going on, but try to give you the full experience of what it's like to be out on the road, life on tour. Show you some of the ups and downs, hopefully a lot more ups and downs, but just putting you there in 2008. So climb on board, life on tour. But my heart's a gold I had to run away high So I wouldn't come home low Just when things went right It doesn't mean they were always wrong Just take this song And you'll never be left all alone Take me to your heart Fill me in your bones Just one more night First event being Toho. There's a few changes going on this year. Usually we've had uh, you can practice as long as you want to, but this year they mandated where you only have four days of practice and then you have an off day. Day being the off day. Uh, one thing about Florida that you can always be sure of that the weather is going to change. It may look like it is nice and sunny out here, but actually <laughs> the weather's gone from 80 degrees to about 40 right now, and then they're predicting it to get really cold tonight. It's supposed to be like 37 degrees. So, I'm not sure exactly what that's going to do to the fish. I know overall, I didn't have a great practice. I've been trying to find something a little bit uh, shallow. I've been working a spinner bait, a chatter bait. I, I've managed to pick up a few fish, but really nothing strong, nothing I feel really comfortable uh, doing. And with this front coming through, I got a feeling that that's really going to mess that up. Yeah, I do too. I think one thing you got to keep in mind when you're fishing in Florida is these are a different strain of bass than the northern largemouth and they're real susceptible to cold fronts and and bad weather so when it gets cold you know sometimes you have to make them react and bite a bait like a rattle trap or a, a spinner bait or a jerk bait something like that and i think it's 
it's going to be a tough, tough day tomorrow, no doubt. Yeah, historically, when it gets real cold down here in Florida, you got to really slow down, something that I'm not good at, but you have to really go to the plastics, like the bigger worms. I've been to Toho, but it's been at least six years ago. It's really changed a lot since I was here. There's probably more grass yeah, it's than, full I, of grass than now, I've ever seen. I mean, like you made the comment that there's either a lot of grass or there's no grass. And, yeah. And I think that the grass is probably going to come into play, especially the deeper grass with this front coming through. You're going to see yeah, a lot of guys too. getting out on the grass lines and throwing the Texas rig worms. Or, yeah. Or maybe getting up shallow and throwing a little sinkos and stuff, but it just—it yeah. really seems bored of a shallow bite. It does. Me. Most time we come to this lake, it's a pick anywhere on the bank, throw a sinko, catch six, seven pound limit. And under warm conditions, sometimes you can do that, but this this is not going to happen like that. And a lot of guys are going to, you know, settle for five bites a day. I think and just hope they're the right five. You know, it's it's not going to be a a wide open catch fest. I wouldn't think. Yeah, I know that if you probably look back, you think, well, the Classic was here and it took big weights for the Classic the last time, about, about the same time. And I think, what was it, we're here maybe two weeks later than when, yeah, about Bass, two was weeks. Here, when Bass was here and broke the record. Yeah, two to three weeks, something like that. I, I think the fish have already spawned. I mean, we're here later. Uh, the water seems a little bit warmer. I'm not seeing any fish. I'm seeing a few empty beds but i'm not seeing yeah. a lot of fry or anything yeah like shallow. i actually came down um about three weeks ago before the lake went off limits and there were a lot of empty beds then a lot of you know balls a little fry hanging around so you can tell that 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 big wave of big fish has already spawned and that may add to the to the catch factor now too they're in a post spawn and it's a lot of them just aren't aren't willing to bite very well yeah, but I, mean, I don't mind. I honestly think if you can catch between eight to ten pounds a day, you're really going to do good. In this yeah, time. no doubt, no doubt. Uh, I know a big fish is going to be a factor here. The, it is Florida, so there's going to be some big fish calls. Yeah. So if you can get lucky and catch a nine, ten pounder, it's going to go a long way. So a lot of the limits are probably not going to weigh as much as a big fish away down here. Yeah, so. one one big bite. You could not be on anything. Go out there tomorrow and get two big bites and be be right in the hunt of things. That's what fishing in Florida make that's always interesting down here you know so there's a lot of guys that may have two or three little bitty fish and then a and a 10 pounder or something and here they got 13 14 pounds yeah. but you know that's just fishing and it's well it's like one thing is always predictable when we come to Florida the weather's going to change when we first got here it was in the 80s like 83 85 yeah. degrees it, it kind of got a little bit cooler yesterday we had the front came through yeah bad storm bad storms, storms. Uh, the tornado watches all night last night we had like 35 and 40 mile an hour wind today the off day we've got the the clouds are going away we're probably gonna have bluebird skies tomorrow yeah i'm not sure about the wind but i know it's going to be cold so it's, it's probably going to turn out to be who can fish the slowest and just pick out a fish here and there. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be tough. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. So just stick around and hopefully we'll have good news. Hopefully both of us will be fishing for four yeah, days. Yeah, let's hope so. so but we'll check back with you.